else. So it's not a done deal yet, but I am potentially going to pick up the best deal on a 252 stroke I've ever got. that feeling right after picking up a, a new bike. It's beautiful. It's got some things of course, but I'm excited. It's gonna be a nice little bike to deal with. So, looking forward to it. So I just got home and went in the house and told Jane to come out because every time I get a bike, she has to come and look at them. <laughs> well, look at this. Is a past inspection. Yeah, well, the seat's cool. Yeah, the seat's kind of old school, huh? Yeah, I like that. Nice and plush. This is the first KTM I've ever had, which is crazy. What do you think? I think it's awesome. Yeah? For, I mean, I can, like, I'm not going to say, like, oh, it's awesome, this is my dream bike, but for $200, oh, man. Yeah. The pipe is dented. There's a pipe bracket missing. Well, the bracket's there, but it's just not bolted. What do you think about going out to dinner and washing the bike at the same time? <laughs> I'd love that. Good. Because I want to... Eating? Maybe pizza pie. <laughs> I love pizza pie. Before we go to the car wash, Jenny's doing some pre-treatment. Though the bottle's blue, this is not just water. The liquid inside is bluer. It's water and food coloring. Hey! <laughs> days but I finally got the KTM tucked away in the garage here so basically the story he told me was he rode it into a puddle that was deeper than he thought the puddle went up reached the engine level and he says it went into the stator chamber there where the flywheel is and fried something so the bike lost spark and he went ahead and replaced all of the electrical components that he could think to replace. In fact, he gave me the old ones, so I know he wasn't lying. So we got the flywheel here and the stator, as well as the CDI and the ignition coil. So he wasn't kidding. I'm absolutely interested in taking a look at the electrical bits and seeing what I can find. I'm terrible at engine electronics. Most of it is guesswork for me, but it's definitely worth the time to make those guesses. As tempting as it is to tear into this, this very second, I really don't like having more than one bike in pieces in the garage at one time. Not saying I haven't done it, but it's definitely not ideal as you can imagine. So I'm really close with this Honda 80, at least I think I'm really close. Who knows how close I actually am. It's hard to tell now as to whether or not I'm going to want to keep it and play with it for a little bit or if I just need to make it a quick flip bike. But for 200 bucks, I don't think there's any possible way for me to lose with this bad boy. So stay tuned and sometime later on down the line we'll get to this beauty. But for now, we're going to stick with the Honda and see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. 